Welcome to the parent volunteer orientation video version. We'd like to just start off by saying thank you for your willingness to volunteer and thank you for agreeing to become part of the Spring Valley team because we truly consider you part of our community effort to make a difference for all kids. So getting started, uh, you will have to have a volunteer packet filled out one time only, but every year you'll have to scan your driver's license and you'll have a printed badge in the office each time, and all volunteering should be pre-scheduled with the teacher. Those are the beginning rules. So, but in doing so, in being a volunteer, you're joining our community, and together we work towards uh, the best outcomes for our students. Most likely you won't be working one-on-one -on -one with your own child, instead you'll be working with other children. And when you volunteer, you are a part of our fantastic team, and we're going to line you out, give you specific tasks to really help our community grow and help kids learn. You have to follow district policies, including dress code, timeliness. Those are key ones you can refer to our handbook on the Chiwanaki website. No animals at school for any kind of volunteering. And no additional children while you're in the role of volunteering at a specific event. Confidentiality is a main big thing that you got to consider when you're volunteering. You will not be privy to individual uh, data on students or information that uh, you are not qual qualified or clear to to see. However, by nature of being in a class or being at the school, you'll be observing things that are confidential in nature, considering that you will be around other people's children. So we expect all volunteers to make sure that what happens at the school or things you observe, that we keep those things confidential as far as kids' performance, um, behavior, things like that. You can always go to the teacher or administration um, if following that, uh, but we want you to keep those things confidential and not talk um, in the community about those things. It's really important that you schedule with the teacher when you come and volunteer. It's not open-ended or the organization that is uh, in charge of the event, such as uh, PTC, or it may be a special administrative uh, scheduling of volunteer time, but it has to be pre-scheduled. We don't need any help on yard duty. It will be classroom, certainly field trips, or fundraising events most often. The teacher or the lead person that you're volunteering under is going to give you that direction. So we don't want anyone going rogue. We want you to follow their direction. They'll give you a very specific task to work on that you, you got to stick to and not stray from for the sake of efficiency and for the sake of uh, keeping you focused on a task that you're approved to do. Um, in the case that it's not a teacher, again, it'll be administration or a lead staff member or a leader of the organization such as PTC um, or potentially a sport if that is um, the capacity you're volunteering in. And just follow the direction. They're your go-to. Don't skip over to administration if you haven't addressed things with the teacher first. In engaging students, we do not want anyone in a position where they're a disciplinarian if they're not a staff member. So if you see things um, outside of keeping a, a kid in immediate safety, if you see some poor behavior, we want you to go directly to the, the staff or unsafe behavior. We want you to go directly to the staff so they can enforce uh, we don't want you to engage on a disciplinary level. You're here for the fun stuff and here for an extra set of eyes and ears, but your communication would be to the teacher. Uh, we are all mandated reporters here at Spring Valley. We are to report any type of abuse. Uh, you may be in your capacity a mandated reporter as well, but we want you to communicate with us anything that could come off as abuse or it could be potential abuse. We are held to a very high... Um, level of expectations when it comes to mandated reporting to ensure that all kids are safe. We don't judge whether the report is uh, the accuracy of it. We are just mandated to report things that we hear that could be um, abusive situations. So we want you to let us know immediately when these things pop up so we can meet our legal timeline and keep children safe. Uh, it's very important to communicate those things to us 
so that we can communicate to the authorities. And we appreciate you being here as an extra set of eyes and ears for that purpose. In being a volunteer at Spring Valley, you become our ambassador. Of course, we all have our opinions on things, but out in the community, uh, we want you to be part of our team that's supporting our students and staff and being a beacon of light for our great school. And if there's any issues that come up, being an ambassador and a team member, you come directly to the source and we work on those things together. And out in the community, you encourage people to do the same. We are so glad that you're part of our team and we're so thankful for you joining us here at Spring Valley. Warrior heart, warrior spirit, warrior mind, go Warriors.